Myanmar junta continues to see power degrade as resistance rises. Or alternatively, Myanmar junta under siege as rebels claim military helicopter shot down. So this is Myanmar coup protests four months. This is four months into their protest of this of this coup that took place. And from Reuters we get Myanmar rebel group says it shot down military helicopter. The, the an excerpt from that the Kachlin Independence Army, one of Myanmar's most powerful rebel groups, said on Monday it had shot down a helicopter after returning fire following airstrikes by the military, an official at the group said. The United Nations estimates that tens of thousands of civilians have fled their homes as a result of fighting between the military and ethnic minority insurgents in remote northern and eastern frontier regions. The conflict intensified after Myanmar's generals seized power on February 1st, ousting the elected government led by Aung San Suu Kyi. Now, you know what? I am done with this. I have been saying Myanmar, Myanmar, Myanmar. I still can't get what, what it is. So let's do this. Let's go to... Let's see if we can have a spelling. Myanmar. Oh, let me let me go to Google.com because I think Google hopefully will have. Let's see if you have Myanmar. Myanmar. So let's see. Do you have Myanmar? No, no, no. All right. Myanmar pronunciation. Pronunciation. Let's do that. All right. Here we go. Ready? Myanmar. 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 All right. Let's say Myanmar then. So let's go. <laughs> that was needed, folks. Myanmar protesters mark three months since military coup at U as UN warns of standstill. This is from globalnews.ca. That's Canadian. I don't know why that matters. I think it might. Protesters, maybe, maybe not. Protesters against military rule marched as Myanmar on Saturday, three months after a coup ended a democratic transition, with several small blasts compounding a sense of crisis, crisis that a UN envoy warned could bring state administration <coughs> to a halt. The military has tried to end dissent and impose its authority on a people largely opposed to the return of rule by the generals after 10 years of democratic reforms that included a government led by democracy champion Aung San Suu Kyi. Q. Kyi. 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 I don't know how you pronounce Kyi. K-Y-I. How do you pronounce that? Kyi. Despite a relentless crackdown in which at least 750 named protesters have been killed, way more than that, but whatever. According to the Assistant Association, Assistance Associ and that's speculation on my part, it's way more than that, but I think it's a reasonable speculation. According to the Assistance Association for Political Prisoners Advocacy Group, crowds come out day after day to reject the junta. This is from ChannelNewsAsia.com. Thousands rally <coughs> against, I'm sorry, I coughed, that's terrible. Coughed into the microphone, please forgive me. Thousands rally against Myan Myanmar. Myanmar. Hold on. Hold on. <coughs> Myanmar. 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 All right. All right. All right. Just get that down. Myanmar. So, Myanmar security forces open. Well, okay. Thousands rally against Myanmar. Hunter calling for spring revolution. Myanmar's security forces opened fire on some of the biggest anti-coup protests on, in days on Sunday, May 2nd, killing seven people, media reported, three months after the coup plunged the country into crisis. The protest, after a spell of dwindling crowds and what appeared to be more restraint by security forces, were coordinated with demonstrations in Myanmar communities around the world to mark what organizers call the Global Myanmar Spring Revolution. You know, I don't know about using that phrase, spring revolution, because a lot of those spring revolutions haven't gone so well. Uh, the, the, the mess that is Syria began with a, a spring revolution, and, and it ended in probably millions of humans being killed, at least hundreds of thousands of human beings being killed, millions displaced, millions of lives significantly diminished, all in the name of well, in the name of nothing but the interest of the corpo state nationalist and the 
the, the, the nation state nationalists that were using Syria as their toy, as their little, their little play, well, they, they, they got to test their toys. This is what I've said in, in, even just in this show, if you're watching the whole show. Syria was a great place for all of these uh, corporate state nationalists and, and nation state nationalists to, to test their toys on. So they were murdering human beings and, and utilizing their toys in, in invasive ways. The, the really drone warfare gets, gets its earliest starts in any kind of significant scale in Syria. And what's going on around the world right now, we have is still going on in Libya, for instance. Libya has turned out to be one of the biggest uh, benefactor, well, bi biggest testing grounds for the development of drone warfare by these, these, well, these these centralized authorities. I'll just say. So, and then let's let's just go on. Let's just go on. We're running out of time here. Myanmar enters fourth month under junta with bomb blast flash mobs from France 24. From ctvnews.ca, Myanmar protesters march three months after coup. UN warns of standstill. NDTV.com, Myanmar protests aim to shake the world. Seven killed. That's just the, that's the Sunday uh, that they referred to. And Sunday, May 2nd. And then seven killed, again, the, the May 2nd incident in firing at Myanmar's Spring Revolution protest from scmp.com. And then finally, Myanmar protesters raise voices to shake the world. More mystery blasts from todayonline.com. I guess we'll, we're going to leave it at that. <laughs>